Observers, you have a number of free resources available to you in this community. It has been said, I'm a bad businessman for saying this, but I will say it once again. I don't want a cent from any of you before you check out all of the free material, decide you like it, and that you want more. Here are those free resources, starting with the morning news. The S0 News comes out every day, seven days a week, right here on YouTube. If you are ever unable to find the daily program, you can check our channel page here. Just click our name anywhere within YouTube, like on one of the videos. The morning news is also posted to our primary community website, suspiciousobservers.org, on the home page. On that home page, you can also find a brief listing of videos that can get you acquainted with any number of topics we cover. It is our summary and large-scale videos, from sun to earthquakes to dark matter to climate change. Your first stop for the sun spaceweathernews.com also carries the daily news as the bottom right panel of the four top graphics. Three others are live 48-hour views of the sun. If you want to be notified of new uploaded videos, you can subscribe to the channel, at which point a bell will appear next to the red button that will allow you to get notifications. That subscribe action can also be taken on the channel page along with that notification bell. Some of your best free resources are indeed here on YouTube and on our channel. If you scroll down, you can find the playlist aimed at breaking out the key topics much more. Multiple videos explaining the history, understanding, and path forward of numerous topics. It is highly recommended you see what you like there. Those videos are our best outside of the morning news. Let's come back to spaceweathernews.com and top right where it says click to learn what is space weather that link also takes you to the sun series playlist which can be found on the channel page too and you can become more knowledgeable about the sun than 99 percent of humans in less than one hour everyone watching the morning news will find that invaluable for understanding the shows let's come back to check out spaceweathernews.com a bit more it really is a complete solar watching environment from the solar images to the solar flare x-ray charts the solar wind, geomagnetic conditions including ion storm counts, and even radio propagation conditions and long-term cycle tracking. Another terrific free resource is QuakeWatch.net. Our five main earthquake causation items are linked top right, our four papers, and our PowerPoint presentation on how to predict earthquakes. You can learn a lot about the model, which is forecasting the location of more than 70% of the largest earthquakes using less than 15% of fault zones at any time. And you can see some of the factors that go into the modeling and even use them to try your hand at forecasting yourself. Our regular forecast can be found on Twitter, along with any solar alerts when necessary. Link is below the video, along with our Facebook page, where people have become accustomed to not only another place to watch the morning news, but a way to keep up with the latest news from within the community. Next free resource is two parts, magneticreversal.org and earthchanges.org. Magnetic reversal is all the official facts from the official agencies. Unlike many threats from the natural world, this one isn't a secret or hidden. It's just that you have to go searching in about a hundred different places to get the full picture. Not anymore. Once you get that full picture here at magneticreversal.org, earthchanges.org is where we track the effects of the magnetic reversal on the weather and technology. This is the website that triggered a flood of FAA and NOAA employees to subscribe to our channel. Lastly, Observatoryproject.com can give you some insight into the community's back end and into our outreach efforts, including our 2015 journey across the U.S. and Canada in the Mobile Observatory. The morning news, the website resources, and the playlists on our YouTube channel, they are all free and deliver layman's level information that is up to date and relevant for the future of our planet. I repeat my bad business strategy. Please don't feel the urge to support these efforts until you have surveyed the free material, watched the news for a while, and are genuinely eager to know more. If that describes you, the primary means of supporting the community and your awareness is membership at suspiciousobservers.org. Become a member with a few clicks at the menu option on the left. Members enjoy a number of benefits and most notably access to the private videos. The Deeper Look section indeed has about 100 episodes per year and we are up over 300 total now. A new one comes every few days. The weekly hour-long podcast called Fly on the Wall takes place again every week with more than 200 podcasts now and a new one coming up this Saturday.
whenever you're listening to this. We also have our lab footage available for members. If you've ever seen Billy's hydro explosions, magnetic weather experiments, electric discharge, electric geology, water and olivine highlights, this is where all the footage can be found, often with Billy narrating along. When members click premium on the menu, they can also see the members chat page, a live AOL style forum that I am on at least weekly, and the direct to S0 button. It's the members only contact form. Members' emails get top priority, which matters because we get more emails every day than you could possibly imagine. Of course, our disaster prediction app is a great way to support the cause, and it is a great space weather and large earthquake alert system, including the only space weather health alerts in the world. Our book is available on Amazon and Barnes and & Noble or in PDF form for much, much cheaper at otf.cells.com, which is also where you'll find my wife's children's picture book. No, three months old is not too young to get your kid loving our star. If you manage to find, you can also predict earthquakes with our free resources, like dozens have already. Perhaps consider joining the team over at quakewatch.net. That is a very good contribution to the cause. Not to mention you'll get recognized for all your success you have at it. Lastly, folks, the conferences are another great way to support the community. They also have a button on observatoryproject.com. The message here is simple. We have a ton of free resources, and I really want you to use them. They help. Ask some observers if you need to. If you are willing to support the cause, it will be very worth your while as well. Be safe, everyone.